this video, the Centre for E-Learning Didactics and Educational Research at the University of Veterinary Medicine Hanover will demonstrate how to take a blood sample from sheep from the vena jugularis. Only one of the correct methods to perform this skill will be shown here. Needed for this skills lab exercise are a cannula, a sampling tube such as a monovet with a volume of 10 milliliters, a water-resistant marker, and gloves. It is possible that wool shears will also be required. The sampling of blood from sheep is usually done in the treatment of single animals or when caring for livestock, for example when screening for pathogens such as Brucella melitensis or the Medivisna virus, as well as for measuring electrolytes or trace elements. Sampling blood from sheep can be done either from the vena jugularis externa or from the vena cava cranialis. In this video, the vena jugularis method will be demonstrated. All needed materials are placed within reach. The sampling tubes are then labeled with the following. Farm name and number, ear tag number, possibly the animal's name and patient number, and the date of sampling. First, the cannula is placed upon the monovet. Another person restrains the animal as follows. The animal is placed with its hind against a wall. The knees of the helping individual are positioned behind the animal's shoulders. It is important to ensure that the neck of the animal is not overstretched, since this would cause the vena jugularis to wander medially. Restraining the simulator is not required. The vein is congested in the lower two-thirds of the neck. For this, the non-puncturing hand is placed cranially on the neck of the sheep. The thumb lies roughly on the 2-3 to three centimeter thick vein within the jugular notch. With the other hand, the vein is palpated above the congesting hand in order to find an adequate puncture spot. The vein should easily be felt without any hard or thickened areas of the vein wall or the surrounding structures. With heavily woolen animals, it is recommended to congest and spontaneously relax the vein multiple times. Through this, the wool parts and falls in on itself, allowing for a clear view of the vein. Alternatively, the wool in this area can be shorn. On a living animal, it is recommended to count down to the puncture, allowing the restraining person to anticipate sudden reactions. The cannula is quickly inserted at an angle of 30 to 40 degrees to the skin. The cannula hub is held between thumb and middle finger while the index finger remains in contact with the animal and instrument. The congesting hand can now reach over, aspirating the monovet. This creates a suction force, causing blood to flow into the monovet. After enough blood has been taken, the vein is compressed cranial to the puncture spot. It is important not to compress too close to the puncture spot, as to prevent the cannula tip from damaging the other vein wall. The cannula is removed and the area above the puncture spot is compressed for a few more moments. The cannula is disposed of into the designated container.